it's Pete here and I'm back again for another weekly free instant tournament. So eight boards on BBO, what you want to do is come up to Solitaire Bridge, then across to weekly free instant tournament, give it a shot. So this is match points, you've got the best hand at the table, so occasionally that makes a difference um, and you can work out some strange stuff, but uh, we'll see what we can do. So uh, one no trump from my partner and I have 15 points. So. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of best hands, I have the equal best hand, so there's a weird spot where you know your partner's got exactly 15 points. So we have 30 points combined. Um, now the question is, do I want to try and play three no trumps, or do I want to try and play four of a major? So with this hand shape, I would almost r like routinely stay in here, look for a 4-4 four, four major. I'm not sure I need to do any trumping, um, especially with my ace kings and the minors. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bid three no trumps. Uh, if I was playing normal bridge, um, you might be interested in looking for slam and quantitative four no. Well, I would usually start with statement if I didn't want to play no trumps. Um, but to look for slam, I'd bid four no quantitative, but that's 16, 17. So we're just shy of that. Um, also, I know my partner's minimum, so let's just uh, bid three no. Okay, uh, spade lead, and we've got three diamond tricks, uh, two club tricks is five, we've got three spades, um, maybe four after this lead, so three spades after this lead, maybe four, and we want to try and double finesse hearts. I'm also curious to see how people would play in slam, so if you were in, well not necessarily slam, but in four hearts. So if I did bid stay and partner would bid hearts and we'd find a heart fit, uh, then if you investigated slam, you'd find out you're off a key card in the queen of trumps. Um, slam is missing the queen of spades, which might be a problem. Uh, but other than that, yeah. Anyway, uh, largely what I, okay, so that's on side here. I just want to double finesse hearts. So we'll just uh, come over to uh, the spade. And my heart pips are pretty good. We'll just lead the 10 of hearts. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, so I'm very happy I am not in four hearts here. Um, so now the question is, what can we do? All right, so East has five hearts and I've got three spades. So they have only five minor suit cards. There's a heart. Okay, so he says three spades, five hearts. Um, and four clubs. I was trying to work out if I could do anything fancy. Nothing fancy, so uh, we'll just uh, give up another heart. I get that, and then we got the rest of the tricks. But uh, should be a good one. 92%, so uh, most people, six hearts. Oop, didn't mean to do that. So most people would stamen and then jump to four, well not four diamonds, but they, they jump to four diamonds. Stamen and then, uh, yeah. So first of all, being this is actually a, a moderately okay slam. If you had the queen of spades, it would be a, a really good slam. Um, if you do want to investigate slam after this, so what uh, a lot of people might find is they bid one no trump, uh, they bid stamen, their partner finds a heart fit, and they look and see that when they bid four no trumps, it's just quantitative invite. And they're like, ah, oh, I wanted to bid key card. I wanted to find out if we've got enough key cards. Uh, and why can't I ask for key cards? Anyway, what you can actually do to actually slam try after a stamen bid is you can bid the other major at the three level. So if you bid three spades here, it would say nothing about spades. Um, it would just say I have a fit for hearts and I have um, game forcing uh, a slam try. So just seeing if anyone bid it so I can 
highlight it. Looks like most people just bid slam. Yeah, so th there's the auction uh, I was talking about. Um, and if you were going to do it, so three spades, nothing about spades. Just I have four or more hearts and this is how you can do a forcing raise after statement. And partners uh, four spades was probably just a cubit. All right, uh, moving on to board number two. So uh, here we've got 10, 18 high card points. So um, if my partner bid a spade, I probably would have just bid two no trump 18, 19, but um, I'll just reverse here. And I wanna check for a spade stopper. Um, this isn't quite right, but uh, I'll do that, see where we go. Blackwood for diamonds. I'm nervous that my partner thinks I have a singleton spade now. I wasn't expecting that outcome, but uh, I have three key cards for diamonds. We have all the key cards. Right, so my partner's got Ace Queen of Diamonds, Ace of Spades. So we've got, I don't think I can count 13 tricks. I need my partner to have like the Ace King of Spades, Ace Queen of Diamonds and the King of Hearts. I can show the King of Clubs. Slightly nervous we're gonna to get to seven and them still think I've got a, a, a spade singleton. Um, next question, do we need to do any trumping? And six no trumps could easily be the right spot. So my partner's got ace queen of diamonds and the ace of spades. Do they have anything else? Should I put this into six no trump? What might my partner need to trump? Um, we might need to trump a club. Um, uh, like usually I should leave it up to my partner here, but I can't, I can't really visualize what we might need to trump. Like we might need to rough a club. That's probably the most promising thing that we need to actually trump, but maybe my clubs are just good. I feel like, oh, uh, I just, I'm torn, I'll, I'll pass, but I think uh, six no is probably gonna be pretty good. Um, so how good is six no trumps? Six no trumps needs uh, clubs three, three, I think. Um, Right, so here I've got a spade loser, a heart loser. I've got some club losers if they don't break. No diamond losers. I wanna see if clubs are 3-3. Three, three. If they are, I get to throw both my spades away. If clubs are not 3-3, three, three, I'll need to trump one club, most likely if they're 4-2. And I'd have a spade loser, but uh, hearts, I would want to take a finesse. Uh, in the bidding, they didn't do any bidding. Uh, the lead looks like the king queen of spades probably over there, but no guarantees. Um, all right, so, uh, yeah, let's just draw the trump. Okay, ten of hearts. All right, so we're roughing this one and taking a heart finesse. I'm not convinced it's going to work. So we're down one. Thirty-five percent. Uh, pretty pretty good slam. Um, club clubs breaking three three. All the heart finesse working. So happy to be there. Um, some people made it. 
No one was in six nitrons. Curious. Two diamonds, three diamonds, five diamonds, six diamonds. Ten. Oh, they got the ten of hearts lead. Nine of diamonds lead. So both of those leads gave them uh, different chances there. So no one managed to make it on a spade lead. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with that one. Moving on to board number three, and we've got a 5 4 2 2. 17 count beautiful hand aces and kings so um i'm gonna actually upgrade this into a game force usually you'd want to have 18 points but ace king ace king and another king seems pretty good so it will be three diamonds uh, my partner has shown a diamond fit uh we'll just raise to five diamonds i don't have anything particularly else to say not really interested in slam opposite a hand that uh, only bid that um, right, so three no trumps is pretty much where we wanted to get to. We would have, yeah, like it's not clear how many winners you've got. Um, but anyway, I've got a diamond loser, a club loser. Uh, sorry, I got three club losers and a diamond loser. Uh, the three club losers, I could try trumping two of them. I'm definitely going to lose one. Um, if I don't trump two of them, I could maybe set up hearts. Uh, nine card fit missing the queen of diamonds. So I just want to um, hope that the diamonds break two two. So play diamond over. See if they break two two. Yep, they do. And here I can just trump those two clubs and we've got uh, 12 tricks. So this one I don't think is a good board. Oh, got more than I thought I deserved for that. So I thought lots of people, okay. Yeah, so two diamonds, three diamonds, definitely like your partner could have passed two diamonds. So you definitely want to be bidding on after that. Um. Some people managed to get to three no trumps. It made 11 tricks by the looks of it. It's like a reasonable approach. You could just bid a heart and no trump, three no trumps. I don't actually mind that. Um, I thought rounding out my shape was okay, uh, but uh, I think there's a very practical way to bid it. Some people got to six diamonds, so they bid the same way, but uh, opted for just bidding six. Moving on to board number four. Four. And we've got a 6, 5, 15 count. Um, I'm pretty strong, but uh, I can bid unusual two no trumps and then just bid again. So partner likes clubs. I'm just going to raise it to four clubs. That seems like an obscene amount of po total points that I'm trying to show because that's not what I want to be showing. All right. Um, so I can just redouble to show more points. Ideally, I just wanted to raise clubs because, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't want to end up in slam. Ah. Uh. I'm going to bid it anyway. I think partner is definitely going to raise me to five clubs. We'll see if they raise me to six. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't show the right number of key cards, but I'm like, that's it. I, I need a way to get out of here. Um, and good. Uh, we have a spade loser, a diamond loser, maybe a club loser. Um, so back in the bidding, East bid one spade and then made a takeout double for the majors. Uh, they found the right lead. Um, so let's see if clubs break. Currently looking promising. That is very promising. And now. Um, 
I'm largely just going to lose one diamond. Yeah. So here, West has five diamonds to the ace. My queen will win. I'll be able to trump one. Preserve the beer card for good measure, but it's not going to matter. And there we go. So I'm very happy that I bid, even though I was worried about it. Um, 82%. So here, I'm not a fan of the uh, agreements I had available to me. Um, some people got to six clubs, just looking at what they did. Uh, so they passed and then they jumped to five clubs. I think this is entirely sensible. Uh, that one showed 29 to 30 total points for no apparent reason and partner puts you into slam. Um, I think that's just like a really bad agreement that the robot has. Um, probably should be checked out that, uh, you know, you might have other ways that you want to try and describe hands with 30 total points. Um, whereas just big two suited hands, I think are entirely sensible here. Um, but you know, the other option was you let the opponents potentially play three hearts or something. So they're going to be making three hearts. So in theory you did better. So I wouldn't worry too much about this one. Um, I certainly got lucky that uh, I managed to uh, navigate my way to just five clubs. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, here we've got a flat 14 count. So one club. Uh, my partner's showing uh, spades, just four of them. I'll just bid one no trump. Two hearts. This is sort of uh, forcing. Good hand. Yeah, we'll give three no trumps a go. All right. Um, so I got five club tricks. And a spade is six. The diamond lead is annoying. Uh, what do we know from the bidding? So I'm not going to be making three no. That's important to note from this here, uh, unless diamonds are blocked. So maybe I can hope that diamonds are like six three. Uh, past. So one heart. So west is over called hearts. Hearts are five two. East is a past hand. Um, they let a diamond. I don't think there's a good reason for them to be leading away from the ace of diamonds. It looks like they're trying to get their partner in. Um, so I'll just try the jack, but uh, let's see. Okay. All right, heart shift. So I now have chances here. Not good ones. Um, but... Uh, I'm up to five clubs, a diamond, a heart, and a spade. Uh, the opponents in theory have lots of diamond tricks here. It's worth noting that West does not have a five, five shape um, because they could have bid two no trumps, unusual two no trumps. So looks like West is five, four. Um, so I think East has a five card diamond suit. So there's one diamond discard. I really need to see a diamond discard from East. Looks like West is like a three, five, four, one. So there's two heart discards. So West is down to like, uh, they've only got two hearts. Um, all right, uh, I think I'm down anyway. Uh, they've both pitched what? So East only discarded, what did, they, what did East discard? One spade, they discarded something else as well. It wasn't a diamond, so maybe two spades. Uh, they could have easily discarded a heart. 
they had one. Like that, they could have let go of their heart. All right. Anyway, I'm just going to hope West has the King Jack of Spades and maybe that diamonds are blocked. Ooh, diamond discard. They were a 5-5 five, five shape. Okay, uh, I thought that would maybe be a bit unusual to no trumps with that hand showing hearts and diamonds. So I got the hand shape wrong. Don't think there was anything I could actually do. Couple of people made it. All right. Um, they just uh, opened one no trump and they got a spade lead. So one no trump opening worked out really well there. Anyway, uh, some people just settled for three clubs. I think when, like, three clubs is obviously a much better spot than uh, three no trumps, but partner showing a maximum hand, we were at, like, 25 sort of points. Um, I thought it was worthwhile giving it a shot, especially with a double stopper in hearts. Um, the diamond lead made it a lot more awkward for me. Uh, 12, 16 points, so one no trump. Okay, and before when I was talking about stamen, if it was if you wanted to support uh, hearts and support spades and show a slam try, you'd bid three hearts in this spot. So that's how you can do it for both of those. All right, diamond lead. Uh, no heart losers, maybe a spade loser. I got two club losers, no diamonds. It looks like I just want to guess the clubs. Do I think West has the ace or the queen? East is a past hand. Don't have a lot to go on. But uh, we'll try and work that out later. So here I just want to see if spades break 3-2 or if West has 4. So. Okay. Um, so we can uh, draw that. So here, importantly, I played king of spades and then spade over to the ace. I left one higher honor there so I could finesse. Um, but also, um, I don't, didn't need to cross in it another suit. If you started with the ace of spades first and then played over to the king, you'd discover the bad break, but then just have to use an alternate entry there. Um, so here, I can still just guess whether um, West has the ace or the queen of clubs. I could play diamond to my hand. And uh, East really could have either. I'll just try the Jack. Hey, got that one right. <laughs> one of the benefits of trying that way is that I get to make the beer cart. If I played a club to the King, I had no chance of a beer card. So that one was really 50-50, but uh, by guessing clubs that way, it allowed me to finish uh, winning with the uh, seven of diamonds. Um, I think East discard was a high club, was it? What was that first discard? Low club, high club. Low club, okay. Really nothing to go on there. Um, couldn't really tell much from uh, the play what was going on there. Um, but uh, 12 tricks. So I managed to bid slam on that. Uh, partner did not uh, open the, like, was not inviting us to bid slam. Um, bidding a diamond and then four spades is, uh, you're showing an unbalanced hand here in the semi-balanced range. I quite hap happily do that with five, four, two, twos treated as balanced hands. Showing it as unbalanced isn't unreasonable. Uh, bidding four spades there is sort of like good 18, 19 points. Your hand got significantly better, but not that good. I think it's more of a three spade bid. Anyway, uh, moving on to board number seven. And here we've got a six card heart suit. So one heart. Uh, 10 to 12. So definitely going to game. We've got 15 points for me to want to make slam here. Let's say partner had the ace of spades, ace of hearts, queen of clubs. I'd need them to have doubleton spade. Uh, that would be pretty perfect cards. I could see us making, but uh, 
bit awkward for me to investigate. I could have bid something like three spades cubid, but they play first round controls. Um, I could have bid four clubs, but I'm not exactly sure what I'd be hoping to hear from partner. Anyway, partner here has a maximum with two aces and it still looks like we're going to lose a club and um, a spade. Uh, we're also missing the queen of hearts. So one of the things I want to think about is if someone had a void heart, who do I think might have it? Um, I think it was harder for East to bid than it was West. So if West had a void heart, they might have come in and bid there, whereas East probably couldn't bid even if they had a void. So I'm going to check to see if West has uh, um, three hearts and just cash the king of hearts first. Cool. So that paid off. Uh, Uh, let's just rough with this. And largely, I'm just going to see if East has a uh, king, queen of diamonds and the queen of clubs and try and squeeze them. So we're going to just draw trumps and then I'm going to cash spades ending in the north hand. And the lot, uh, well, not maybe just long clubs. I kind of squeeze dummy first, unfortunately. Um, but now just go king of spades and spade over and just see, I haven't seen the king queen of, uh, diamonds. So let's just play clubs from the top and see if my five of clubs grows up. Doesn't, uh, but we got, uh, we got hearts, right? So 75% there really pays to just think I probably don't have any losers, but if I do have a void, who could it be? And it's just a really minor thing to go on. If West had the Ace of Spades and avoid Heart, the options that they might be able to overcall on are better. And if that's the case, that's something to go on. Give you give yourself something to split those ties, whether it's allowing yourself to get the beer card or what's their opportunity to bid. Final board, and here we've got 14 points. So just bit of club and thinking about passing it but we still have some opportunity to make game if partner's maximum i'll bid one no trump um, passing a spade like i think playing in spades could be better than no trumps but it's not clear uh right well i got three maybe four club winners and a heart i don't really want them shifting to diamonds just yet uh the opponents can get let's duck a couple of hearts and they led the five which looks like hearts are four three all right so i think they've got three heart winners two spades is five and a diamond is six Two diamonds is seven, but my eight of diamonds is really important here for being another stopper. All right, uh, I'm gonna take that as my cue to try and cash out. Yep, clubs broke. They get their ace of spades and a diamond. 60%. Uh, I wasn't sure about that one. I think playing in spades probably is better. Um, weird, like, I wasn't too worried about playing in a no trump, but uh, would have panned out well. Ooh, I was just looking at the scores. Someone won with 80%. That was a solid showing. Anyway, fourth with uh, 62%. Pretty happy about this one. Uh, there's really what like about how should you try and guess these suits. I really look for something to try and split the difference, whether it's a good bridge or whether it's the beer card, um, worthwhile trying to consider those options. Um, board two, I thought this was a good slam to try and be in, so pretty happy about that. 
Uh, board five. Um, I tried three no trumps. I'm not sad about trying it. Uh, it was a pretty terrible contract, um, but uh, probably do that again. And uh, board one, pretty interesting. Fortunate that uh, no trumps definitely played significantly better than hearts because of the really bad split. Um, I don't mind statementing on this one, but with 14 of my points in um, partners, well, in my shortages, it seemed like we weren't that likely to need to trump something. Um, so figured for three no trumps. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting weekly free instant tournament. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.